here we are up at uh, Wee Lake in Kirkland Lake. Uh, Drake and I came up uh, last week, kicked off the, uh, the field season. We've had a good week of geology here. Looking around, it's different outcrops and different features, so we have a good plan going, moving forward. Kirkland Lake Discovery's 2025 summer field program has officially begun. Eager to explore the recently acquired Winnie Lake property, Drake and Mike waste no time getting into the field to explore and sample the area. Okay, so one of the, uh, the, the jobs that Mike and I had planned for this week was uh, finding the old drill colors from the 80s, 90s, and 2005. Um, it's part of the first steps that you do when you're visiting a property just to make sure everything's geo-referenced right and uh, you get an idea of where the historic drilling is. So this is one of the colors right here. And as you can see, they're pretty difficult to spot. So it took some uh, took some time to, to locate them all, but we did a pretty good job and successful. We're stepped inside the uh, Winnie Pluton and uh, a nice magnetic uh, horn blend cyanide here, but uh, no one stripped this. We just stripped this ourselves. Yeah, nobody's really looked into the cyanide stock. It's kind of been focused on the Mafix and, and the contact along there, but there is a structure um, for about 260 at the actual Winnie shaft itself. And so we've walked along strike and found this outcrop, stripped it, and it's full of veining and it's in the same orientation, like Mike said. Uh, associated with the way is magnetite. This is a piece of massive magnetite, very magnetic. And uh, we are gonna use this to vector us to around the edge of the Winnie Lake Pluton with some uh, magnetic surveys, really tight in space magnetic surveys. It's gonna give us good indication if there's, uh, if there's other, other uh, deposits like this that we see here at Winnie around the edge of the Pluton, so. 300 meters along uh, the cyanite uh, Pluton contact. And here is another great big chunk, massive magnetite. You got some sulfides in here, just like Winnie. This is kind of what we'll call like a mini Winnie. So this is excellent. Shaft right over there, all the veins are pointing right towards the shaft and the Winnie Lake. So all the same trend and, yeah. and uh, we're excited about this too, because it's, uh, Maybe it's all behind us somehow, too. It's all relatable. Drake and Mike followed the geological clues that lead them to the Winnie Lake shaft. Surrounding the shaft is a massive outcrop that yields clues to the mineralization of the area. Yeah, so right here we have a big pot of mineralization. You can see it's all rusty, gossamous, uh, oxidized, so um, this is what's historically been drilled at Winnie and uh, comes out with some pretty nice zinc, copper, a little bit of gold grade and silver as well. So um, this is kind of what we're looking for and this is all throughout the uh, the shear zone at the, the Winnie Lake area. And you can see in the photo all the rusty rocks uh, full of sulfides. Sulfides, you got pyrite, calcopyrite in there. There's some malachite kicking around and it's just been altered and um, deformed and really nice looking stuff. Nice chunks of uh, rock broken off here and it's chock full of malachite. Um, and as we move down, kind of just getting outside the main deposition corridor, we have these uh, extensional veins coming off of uh, the main shear and you can see they're chock full of malachite through there and they're all green and oxidized and uh, that's hosted in a, a very silicified basalt. It's impressive how much uh, fluid went through here and how silicious this actual uh, basalt is. This is basically along the contact of uh, this cyanide body in Mayfield Volcanics, and that's where we're, you know, Mike and I were kind of tracking that down uh, throughout the week to uh, start the field season, and we were pretty successful in that. We got the orientation of uh, the structure, basically. As you can see, it's coming kind of right through here, right through the shaft area. Uh, it's going about 260 degrees following the uh, uh, the contact between the, the Mayfield Volcanics and the, the cyanite and the Winnie stock. Um, so we tracked it down into the bush, into the cyanide area, and we found a nice, uh, zone in there that has this really, 
uh, defined fabric with uh, quite a bit of quartz veining in it. We got a pretty good first weekend to uh, really define our exploration moving forward into the summer. So, yep, we've had a great week of jollity here. Great week. Yep.